Good day, everyone. Welcome back to Side Quest and Dark Souls. We're in the Cathedral of the Deep, and we're going. I don't know why I'm singing. So, I'm gonna head back to Firelink here. I just kind of wanted to poke around a little bit first and just look at this cool place. Because, I mean, look how cool this is. It's a cool place. I don't think there's anything else for me to, like, grab here, though. Or do. Just enjoying some cool art. I mean, look at this. This is weeks of work. At least. Anyway, let's get to Firelink, shall we? Take care of some shrine business. Oh, hello. You're new. What's going on there? Oh, are these the, uh... Yeah, these are the two who were up at the, uh, the road of whatever. Hey. Oh, and we meet again. We spoke before on the road of sacrifices. That's the one. Anri of Astora. Nice to meet you. I'm well pleased to see you safe. We reached the Cathedral of the Deep, but Aldridge's coffin was empty. The man-eater must have left for his true home. The little doll in the empty coffin told me. Creepy. Aldridge is set to hail from Irithil in the Boreal Valley, an ancient fabled city. A pilgrim told me that the city lies beyond Farren Keep, and so becomes our destination. Okay. Uh, I think Farren Keep was my next destination too, so great. Aldridge's honest home is Irithil in the Boreal Valley, an ancient fabled city. A pilgrim told me that the city lies beyond Farren Keep, and so becomes our destination. Great. Well, cool. I'm headed there too. Got anything to say? <laughs> Cool. Uh, what about you, little tiny king? What do you gotta say for yourself? Aha, thou returned, and a fine day it is. So, happened upon any twisted souls? I have, actually. What does it get me? Deacons of the Deep, so I can get Deep Soul. Fire Darkened Soul Sediment, which is a sorcery of Archdeacon Royce and his deacons, said to have been imparted to them by MacDonald of the Boreal Valley, fire's dark soul dregs, souls which swell from the deep, pursue their target, drawn towards life. Can't use it. And the cleric's candlestick, used as both sword and catalyst, cool, for used for worship by the deacons of the deep, the deacons under the guidance of Archdeacon MacDonald became both clergymen and sorcerers. Can't use it. I mean, I guess I may end up getting one of those soul items rather than just eating the soul. Just so, I guess, like a new game plus, maybe with a different build or something, I can make use of something, but... I don't know. So, if... if I was gonna grab one of these two, I'm gonna let you guys vote on what it is. Because, I mean, I can't really use either of them right now, anyway. Uh, let's check on Yol, huh? Um... Alright, buddy? Hey! Top two. Got stuff to do, man. Hello? Hey. Oh. You know, you might actually be all the way dead. Hmm. Welp. Oh. Hello. We've met, haven't we? Or have we? Are you the lady who was up the stairs up there earlier? Or are you someone new? Either way, um... Why? Oh, prithee. Art thou good yours, master? I am Yoria of Londor, a close friend of his. Hello. Thanks to thee, your soul is redeemed. Allow me to express my gratitude in his stead. Cool. Hey, dignified bow. Now I can be dignified. Another matter. That a lord, art thou not? Sure. Bearer of the Dark Sigil. And our Lord of Hollows. Huh. For the time thou remainst our lord, 
We of Londor shall serve thee. Sweet. And I, of course, am also thine. Cool. I'm just gathering interesting servants of all sorts. What are you selling? Purging stone, poison throwing knife. A Londor Braille Divine Tome, eh? A Braille Tome of Londor, first spoken by Lillian of the Sable Church. Give this to a storyteller to learn miracles of Londor. This is a forbidden tome, as it offers salvation to all hollows, and conversely curses all things living. Can't really tell if... I can't really tell if the priestess would want that, either. So, lots of spells. Dark Hand. Why do you have Dark Hand? A weapon that allows its wielder to evoke an art unique to Londor, the land of the Hollow. It's also said to be uh, an ancient relic of a primordial serpent. The Dark Hand mercilessly saps the essence of its victims and can also be doubled as a special shield. And can also double as a special shield. Cannot be used two-handed. And the skill is life drain. Again, and I'm feeling a little nervous actually being associated with someone who uses Dark Hand. Untrue Dark Ring, one of the illusory rings worn by the Hollows of Londor. Retain human appearance while hollow. Oh, well, that's cool at least. The Hollows of Londor are wretchedly aged, fraught with deceit, and dubiously secretive. It's no wonder they are deeply detested. You know, I might need this given how hollow looking I am now. Also an untrue white ring. One of the illusory rings worn by the Hollows take the appearance of a phantom. The Hollows of Londor are wretchedly aged, and yeah, sure. So I guess this makes me look like one of the white phantoms, which is kind of cool. Hmm. Might get that. And some Rings of Sacrifice. Created in a sacrificial rite of Velka, the Goddess of Sin. Its wearer will lose nothing upon death, but the ring itself breaks. So I'm definitely going to grab this one. Thank you. And what the heck, let's just go ahead and grab this one too while she's here. Just in case she leaves. An ash color. So the purging stone is an ash colored stone encasing a skull, reduces undead curse buildup, and cures hollowing. Inhabitants of Londor, the land of hollows, use the secret treasure to feign normalcy. Occasionally, a hollow fools even himself and turns on his own kind. That's interesting. Well, anyway. That a lord, are they not? You bet I am. Bearer of the Dark Sigil, and our Lord of Hollows. For the time thou remainst our Lord, and I, of course. All right. Till we meet again. Till then. May the Dark Sigil guide thee. The Dark Sigil. Have I gained more of those? Since I was, um... Uh, drawing out my true potential or strength or whatever, I did. And I think I did it around five-ish times, so... Accumulates Curse. A black gaping hole in the flesh that resembles the brand of an undead. The darkness of humanity seeps from this bottomless pitch black hole and, and the gap filled by the accumulation of the curse. This dark sigil will never heal, but there is a tale told by a firekeeper who returned from the abyss and brought great comfort to a bearer of the curse. So lots of Dark Souls 2 language there. Huh. And a small doll. Did I read this before? Uh, so, small silverwork doll depicting a young squire. In the legendary old city of Irithil, situated in the Boreal Valley, the Pontiff Sullivan gave this doll to valued subjects, so that they might use it to cross the barrier when they return home. Listen carefully and you can hear it say, wherever you go, the moon still sets in Irithil. Wherever you may be, Irithil is your home. Hmm. There's a lot I don't understand, but it's all very interesting, and I bet it leads to neat stuff. You selling anything new? Oh, well, Doesn't look like it. I haven't found another ash for you yet. I guess you wouldn't be selling anything new, would you? Ashen one, it bring me right. With is it? I remember. I remember. I'll do it later. Well, let's get one more level, and then we shall get out of here. Okay. Now yeah, let's start bumping that vitality. <laughs> Gotta set our sights on sweet Katarina armor someday. 
And I think that'll do it, so... I guess it looked like the Cathedral of the Deep was a dead end, so I guess it's down to fair and keep then. Let's get out there. New place. New stuff. Ooh, actually, I just reminded myself. I just remembered that I have an intelligence score that is 10 now instead of 9. Which might mean... Ow. Which might mean that I can talk to that mage guy now. I don't know how high my intelligence needs to be to do that, but, uh... Might work. Wait. Mad Dark Spirit Filthy Rat. Where? Where are you? I wasn't looking for an invader. That's not why I'm here. Where are they? Oh, there's a hole down there. I'll have to drop down there. Once I find... the rat. Rat? Hello? Hi. Rat. Huh, got a pike. Where's the... Oh, there you are. Hi. <laughs> are you a... Are you a player? Oh, yeah. You're a player. Darn. That's, uh... Unfortunate for me. Hey! But, Blue Spirit's here. That makes me happy. Yeah, you better hurry with this. Cause I got a friend coming. Got a friend coming. Any second now. Any old second now. Any old second. Friend's gonna get here. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a whole thing. Come on. Ah. Come on. Ow. Darn it. Ah, I thought I dodged that. No. It's getting close, though. Friend, where are you? Friend! Seriously! <laughs> Batista! Batista's a steel chair! Across the skull! You get a bow for that. <laughs> that was amazing. Oh. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, I don't even feel bad. Good fight, though, filthy rat. I don't know if you'll ever see this, but good job. Let's see what's down here. Oh, hello. Yeah, it's gonna be really embarrassing if I don't lose that fight just to lose this one. Yeah. Jeez. Yeesh. Hey, sage ring. And what else? What else? Sorcerer stuff. Awesome. Very nice indeed. I mean, nothing I can use, probably, but... Where the heck am I? Ah, oh, crap! Crabs! Crabs. I need to get out of here. Invaded again? Jeez, come on! 
Trying to get stuff done out here. Eh. Man. Didn't realize this place was an invasion hotspot. It's kind of obnoxious. Where's the guy? He's up there. How do I get up there? I forget. I always forget how to get up there. Ah, crumbs! Hello, 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 hello. Chill, chill, chill. Jeez, chill. Hi. Hello. Chill. Oh, you're healing up, huh? I thought that was dishonorable, or whatever. Commenters sure gave me hell for it. Yeah, yeah, keep healing, sure, whatever. Yeah, it seems almost like you maybe should chill out with that, huh? Alright, well, if we're healing, then we're healing. Yeesh. Chill out with it. And you're dead. Two in a row. F*** off. I'm doing things. Seriously. Loyal spirit, that's new. How do I get up there? Wait, this was it. Right? No? No, this wasn't it. Wait, maybe? Yeah, it was it. Sorry. It was just, I just, it was over here. <laughs> I hadn't turned around all the way. Please no more invaders before I can just try to talk to this guy and then move on with life. How's it going, pal? Well, well. There's something different about you, isn't there? I studied and got smart. Very well. Indeed, I am a sorcerer. With plenty to share. We'll see about that. However, what champion demands service without recompense? Clearly, you are not that sort of woman. So you will make me a promise. That in exchange for my teaching, you will bring me knowledge. Sure, probably. In the form of scrolls detailing sorcery's secrets. Well, can you assure me of this? 100%. Very well. You're no fool. I take it you understand the weight of a promise. I hope so. I am Orbeck, of Vinheim. Hello. Unkindled one. I shall teach you sorceries. That's what you think. We will learn together. It shall be like our very own school. Eh. Let's not tell him. Anyway, let's get out of here. Yes, indeed. Pleasant. Pleasant looking. Mm-mm-mm. Hey, more slimes. Extinguish three flames. All right. Yeah. I probably better dig out the torch, huh? And haha. -ha. Oh, geez, I'm getting poisoned. That's bad. Maybe due for an equipment change up. Let's get rid of that blood bite. Get that poison bite going. I guess I could equip the spider shield thing too. Although maybe that that may only work when I'm like actively blocking poison attacks rather than just getting poisoned. Hmm. I should, actually, I should also equip some poison curing items. If I have any on me. 
Yikes, I don't think I have any poison curing items on me. That's gonna be an issue. Tough enemy ahead, huh? There's also an item, so... I may just not listen to you. And... Almost certainly regret it. Whew, good. Purple moss clumps. Those are exactly the things that I'm going to need out here. Good, good, good. Let's get those equipped. Alright. I'm gonna try to run and grab that item. And maybe regret it immediately. Ugh. Deep swamp water. Hate it. Iron flesh. Cool. And... Poisoned. Well, at least poison is slow acting. Oh, very slow acting. That's very good. That's good. Good, good, good. We'll just heal that up right here. And... move on. So, okay. Hmm. Quite the little gathering. Oh, it's slugs. It's not slimes. It's slugs. Oh, geez. What are you doing? Thought they were gonna, like, burst in a cloud of poison or something. I was worried. A ragged mask. Neat. Let's take care of you two. I wonder if I have more poison-resistant clothes. That might be helpful. Hmm. Eh, no. Actually, look at heals are pretty good for this purpose, so... great! No change needed. Now, historically... Swamps haven't been a favorite of mine. And poison areas definitely haven't either. Huh. What on earth are you? So... I'd be lying if I said I didn't have any concerns about this place. Just right out the gate. But... It might be fine. I mean... So far, so good, right? Sure, I'm a little poisoned and all, but... That's not so bad. I'm gonna get lost out here, aren't I? Prism stones. Cool. Hmm, cool little ruined buildings and stuff, too. Well, let's just start running around and gathering items, I guess. Tide night shard. Estus shard. Ooh, very good. Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna stay poisoned out here. Until I'm sure I'm gonna be away from these poison swamp waters. Can I jump in there? I bet I can. Yep. Hey! I don't think I needed to jump from there. And in fact, I can't uh, go anywhere. Yeah. Chill out, slugs. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Definitely gonna get lost out here. Definitely. Ugh. I don't like the... I don't like the deep part. It makes me nervous. So does that. What was... Oh, and where'd it go? I saw a really big thing over there. Yeah, there it is. What is that? That is very large. Hmm. Do I dare? I'm close to a bonfire. Like, now there's no better time to take a stupid risk like that. Oh, geez, there's mo multiple. Well... Stupid risks. Let's do it. Ah, this place is too deep to move. Jeez. Ow! 
Okay, yeah, this is, uh, this is gonna be a heck of a fight. Jeez. Ow. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Ow, I rolled. Yeah. Stop with the spells. Ow. And I may die. I may die. I have died. <laughs> well, we kind of... Kind of knew that was going to happen, right? I guess I don't go over here. I wonder if I can get at my souls without... Provoking it. Almost certainly not. It's not like it was that many souls, anyway. Where are they? Oh, I bet I can get those. I can get them and then I can sprint away! Flee! I hope I can find whatever ring or whatever it was that allowed me to run through deep water because... Uh oh Grab it. Grab it. Grab it and run. Grab it and run. Grab it and roll. And dodge the skulls. Hey, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. No, don't chase me. Don't chase me! Fine. I'll just keep roll dodging then. Roll dodge forever! Ah! Retreat! Tactical retreat! Okay. Not going that way. Lesson learned. We will go that way later. When we are stronger. Hmm. Any other items in sight? There's fires, and I see a path right there. I'll take that in a second. But first, I do see items, and so many slugs. So many slugs. Too many slugs. Item? Did I miss one? No. There's an item. Hey, nice. Uh-oh. Hello. Hey, you're a Dark Wraith, aren't you? You are. Ow. Also, you hit hard. Ow. Yeah, I think I saw you had a friend over there behind you. Eh, I should use my shield, huh? Stop it! Seriously. Woohoo! Dark Sword! Cool! What else is over here? Or who else? I bet there's another one of you. Just waiting to pounce. Sage's Coal. That's for Andre, isn't it? Hmm. Is there another one of those? I really thought I saw another... One of the Dark Wraith guys, but if not, great. That is fine by me. Well, this swamp just goes on forever. I should probably go up there, shouldn't I? Up on that little mound. There's just so many items over here, or out here. Oh, what the heck are you? Aside from jumping on me and long-armed and kind of bloodborne looking, honestly. You. I'm gonna get so lost out here. Not going that way, though. Ooh, there's an item. Ooh, there's another one. And another little mound path thing. Oh, jeez. And another one of these guys. Hello. Goodbye. So, okay, let's grab this item first. What are these little sacks of whatever hanging from trees. 
You just know they're gonna cause a problem. Guts ahead. Uh oh. Ha! <laughs> I get that reference. That's a berserk thing. Good job, commenter. Can I hit this? No? Alright, fine. <laughs> I will rate that good. For clever references. And this one. And then I will die. Or not! <laughs> Alright, so I really feel like I should probably check out the top of... ...some of these little... ...hills. I just keep seeing items and I keep... ...feeling like I should go check them out. Hello. Probably should wrap this episode up by now. I'm just... ...enjoying myself. Ah, uh, that's not an item, that's... Ah! Hello. Didn't see ya. There might be an item up there. I'm just worried I'm gonna start running into those really large monsters again. That killed me. I feel like I'm getting closer to their turf. Ah, I really want to move faster. Eh, roll. There we go. Item. Wolf blood sword grass. That sure is a bunch of different words strung together. Pesta soup. Neat. And... A sunlight talisman. Huh. Seems everywhere I find Estes soup, I find something from our sun-praising friend. Quite the cook, I guess. What are you? Oh, it's just a slug. Okay. Just a slug. Just a slug. Getting all panicky over nothing here. Hey, a ladder. Tall one. Definitely checking that out. It's kind of nice, like, I don't feel lost. Lost, I'm just kind of wandering around a huge area where there's a bunch of items and paths, and I... It'll be very hard to form a mental map of the place, but, like... I don't feel like I... It's not like a tangled maze, it's just a big, big open area that is kind of hard to... ...keep track of where you are in it. Where am I? Hmm. Where am I, and where am I going? Oop! Oh, need that. Need it. Need it. Need it! Need it. Nope. Come on. That's the stuff. Twinkling Titanite for me. Huh? What do you mean, here? Hey! Rating that up. Yup. And... Item. Dream Chaser's Ashes, and what the heck is going on here? Uh... I don't know if this is the main entrance, but I'm dropping in here. What the heck is this? I mean, I sure know what it looks like, I'm just wondering what... Old Wolf of Farron. Pray to. Interesting. Huh. Sure. Why not? The Watchdogs of Farron. Cool.
Offer wolf blood sword grass. Cool. I'm not gonna do that yet, but it's, uh... This is neat. So, it's a giant wolf, which obviously, like, uh, very reminiscent of Sif. And kind of looks like a big gravestone surrounded by swords. Also very, very reminiscent of Sif. I wonder if these, uh, Farron rangers or knights or whatever kind of were inspired by or drew their, uh, I don't know, kind of, if their whole thing was inspired by Artorias and Sif specifically. That would be neat. Where's this elevator go? Other than very high. Wow. <laughs> we are up very high right now. Wow. That's cool. That's the whole swamp down there. That's awesome. There's Lothric. And I guess I'm on that big kind of aqueduct bridge looking thing. Didn't expect really to wind up up here. That's big. And familiar. Do we do it? Yeah, we do it. Come on. We gotta. I mean, look at it. It's one of the Dark Souls 1's demons. Sort of. It's definitely gonna kill me, though. Hello! Hey, do the old techniques of just basically just hitting you in the butt over and over still work? No, oh, you got a tail move now. And I don't know what that is, but I don't want anything to do with it. You're intense, pal. You look awesome, though. Oh, jeez. Here it comes. Awesome! Awesome! <laughs> That's so cool! Soul of a stray demon. That was super cool, like the way the legs and stuff broke and he just started moving differently. That is rad. Man, Dark Souls, you just keep on bringing the hits. Man, that's neat. What a great way to end the episode, too. Glad I made it up here. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll be seeing all y'all next week. So long. Actually, no, wait. Can't end on that. Not when we can do this. <laughs> I'll see you later. Goodbye.